I can guess what you're asking now. How do we make all these plain vegetables and steamed fish taste good? I have your solution. I call it the sweet 16. This is the category you're gonna to wanna to get a little creative. You're gonna to wanna to spend time in the supermarket looking down every aisle, checking every label, or what I ask people to do is show me your journal. I like to see where your taste buds gravitate to, and then let's replace it with something. I am Italian, red sauce goes on everything with Parmesan cheese. So my first thing I love on fish or broccoli, um, I do love these tomatoes, by the way, no salt in them. You can add your own salt to these. So if you want to stew, let's say you want to cook scallops in them or make a broth for a soup or whatever it is you're making, these have no salt, should always be on the top of your shopping list. Put it in your cabinet, have it available, as well as defatted chicken broth. I always look for the lowest salt, but frankly, if something's on sale, we can always add water and take the salt content way down. That's okay. Because when you're trying to eat clean, you can't get rid of all the fat and every morsel of salt. And I'm going to give you so many vegetables in this diet making you healthy that the potassium in it is going to offset a lot of the sodium if you happen to go over your little bit of a budget. Um, one of my absolute favorites, I don't like canned vegetables as a rule, however, these tomatoes with garlic, basil, onion in them, decadent. You could eat it plain, it could be a soup, it has no calories, but I tend to throw that over my steamed broccoli, a little Parmesan cheese and chicken breast, I'm good to go. I do not miss the pasta for the record. Um, I've gotten real creative. I have a teen who really loves some spicy different foods. This is a little mojo. It's kind of a little, um, it'll, you know, you can marinate food in it. You could put chicken breast, you could brush it on, you could marinate it overnight if you want, but almost everybody loves this. They want to know what my secret trick is. Love Goya, by the way. Another one, all herbs and spices are free foods. Use them, get the fresh ones, get innovative, get a cookbook to practice with. Remember, they're always free. I do think it pays to have something like a Mrs. Dash there. There's no calories, no salt, no nothing. How does it taste good? But it does. You can sprinkle it on popcorn, vegetables, fish. You'd be surprised with one spice how many different things you could do. This is a product that I think every household should have, whether you need it or not. It's called No Salt. There's another one out there called Cardia. And these are salt substitutes. They're not chemicals, just for the record, but there's potassium in there, and they've gotten really tricky to learn how to make it taste like salt. So when you're steaming vegetables, sometimes putting a little sprinkle of that on top makes the broccoli go from boring to your kids will now eat it. Load it with potassium. You're not going to get any blood pressure spikes. And if you have blood pressure spikes, you better get rid of that salt shaker and pull in this product and learn how to season your boring tomatoes that you can add sodium to if you needed to. But you're creating this. Remember, this is your diet, your weight loss, and more importantly, you want to really feel good. Um, another great one is mustard. I make salad dressings with this. You could make a little salad dressing of that with balsamic vinegar, brush it on a piece of fish or chicken, and you'd be surprised. So food doesn't have to have butter you know, creamy rich dressings to taste good. You just have to get a little creative. And I'm really not the best cook, but I'm very creative. I live for food and I learned I had to get the food to taste good or I wasn't gonna last two seconds on any diet. Um, spray butters, awesome on an ear of corn. Um, you wanna spray it on a little shrimp or lobster if your kids need a little. Much better to go to something like this than to have them dunk it into whole butter because look, a lot of people make the argument, old butter, no, no chemicals, no processing, same thing, no trans fats, no fat. Um, it's a lot less wear and tear on your heart valves and clogged arteries. It's much easier to eliminate the problem than to get it and get rid of it. And I know so many people plagued with this problem. Spray Pam, same thing. You're getting rid of the oil because it's loaded with fat. Why not get yourself a spray pan because now you can control the oil. So what I'll do is I'll spray the pan, right? I'll take a little tiny bit of garlic, put it in there, and if it's really drying up, believe it or not, defatted chicken broth is your new water. You pour it in, you saute your vegetables in it, and now they taste really good, no oil needed. Trust me. You need a little salt in that, add it back in. But you've got to learn how to, I say, get rid of the oil and the butter all together and make believe your hands are tied behind your back and learn how to cook without those. I'm not going to lie to you, this is a process. It takes a little bit of time. 
But when you lose the weight, remember you want to keep it off. When you go out into the real world and eat at a restaurant, you're always going to be overeating on calories. It's always going to come from fat. So when you eat home, that's your choice to clean up your diet and make up for it. Just like saving money and spending money. We have to think big picture here. Um, one of my absolute favorites, which I mentioned before, salsa. Love this stuff. I will dunk boring air pop popcorn in it. I now put that on everything. Two years ago, I didn't like it. Now I can't live without it. Egg whites, a tablespoon in your egg white omelet, decadent. Over fish, you'd be surprised when I have company, I get my little frozen fish out, I take my broccoli, I put a little salsa in it, I saute it in it, then I dump it out. People want it, I haven't been cooking for hours. Simple, it's seasoned, it's done. There's no fat in that, by the way. Also a great dip for vegetables. Parmesan cheese, again, sprinkled on the top. A lot of bang for your buck. Very little fat, a little bit of salt, but a lot of flavor. And if you're satisfied with your food, we eat more than just with our mouths. If you're satisfied and it tastes good and it looks good and you've got these little things, you're going to find that you're not full after your meal. So go the extra mile to do these things. One of the most important categories, the salad dressing category. You're going to be eating a lot of salads or vegetables, so you need to really go take some time in this food category and find things that you really like. So read the labels, look for fat-free, you want low sodium, because this is what's going to really make those bland salads taste good. The lower the calorie, the no fat means that you get to eat a little more. And I like a little salad dressing, a little on mine. So I always go for the lowest end. One of my favorites is this wishbone. It is a fat-free red wine vinaigrette. I love this, has a little bit of a bite. I make coleslaw with it. The kids fight over who's gonna finish the bowl. Shredded cabbage, pour it over the top, done. How, how easy is that to make a salad, really? And cabbage is a free food. Um, my next best favorite, Caesar. Maybe the next night I don't want this one. I'm in the mood for a Caesar salad. So I got this nice fat-free maple grove. I love this line because it's very clean, pure, organic, no fat in it. However, I will warn you, the healthier the salad dressing, the less sodium, that's good. But if you're really bored, you may need to put a little bit of this no salt on it, and now you're going to love it. The next one is an oriental, which I'll use on my oriental salad night with a little chicken, maybe some snap peas. So you see how I had salad three ways already? So you don't have to have monotonous salads. You have to get creative because not eating vegetables when you're a grown up and keeping your weight off, it's really not an option. One of my other favorites that is portable and goes with you anywhere you go, on vacation, in your purse, yes, whatever, take this with you, bring it as a spray salad dressing. So there's no fat, they're virtually calorie free, and you could take this anywhere because salad dressing, most women really think they're doing so well. You could have a cheeseburger and french fries for the amount of calories that salad dressing delivers. I eat a lot of salads and I did have a hard time losing weight, so I had to really turn over this rock, look under it, and I found a lot of hidden calories that I didn't know existed there. So read the labels, check, Get creative, buy 20 bottles. If you don't like them, get 20 more and keep going till you do. Promise you, you'll find at least four or five you love. So I had to limit this to 16. I could have had 30 here stacked of acceptable ingredients. These 16 made the list because they have either very low gluten or no gluten, low sodium, no fat, and they're gonna help us incinerate, get rid of that fat that's storing around your midsection. So keep it simple, get out there. If you don't like one, try again and stay with me because I'm coming back with snack attack foods that are almost calorie free.